and welcome to my channel. If you like DIYs, farmhouse decor, upcycling, and more, you've come to the right place. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I am going to show you a fun and easy way to make earrings. In fact, it is a great activity for a teenage girl's birthday party, but it's also great for making jewelry for yourself or for gifts. And you will not believe how inexpensive this is. So let's head on over to the craft table and let me show you. So for the first earrings I'm going to be sharing with you, I'm going to be using the Geometric Tassel Earring Dies from Coca Rosa, and also the Earring Hook Kit from Coca Rosa that has enough hooks, jump rings, and rubber backings to make a hundred pair of earrings. Wow, that's amazing. And Dollar Tree Craft Foam. Yes, you heard me right. Okay, I know you think I'm crazy for using craft foam to make earrings, but you know me. I think outside the box. And you know, there are other things you can use such as faux leather and faux suede. And Coca Rosa actually has an amazing selection of faux leathers and so many different colors and textures and patterns. You would absolutely love it. And the only reason I'm not using that in this video is because they were out of stock of what I wanted, but it's still sitting in my shopping cart to get. So let's start off by showing you what I made with the craft foam. Coca Rosa has so many different earring die sets and today I'm going to be sharing two of them with you and so the first set that I showed you already um, in the beginning is what I use to make these earrings with and some of them are on studs and some of them are on hooks and we'll start with this one I just love these fun summer colors and these are fringed bottoms on here. Show you that in case you couldn't tell. And I added a charm and a little rhinestone. And this was just really simple to put together. That is just one um, one jump ring to hold this all together. And so that is one pair of earrings. Now, if you like long dangly earrings, then this style would be for you and you don't have to use all of the layers like I did in fact I'm already thinking this one is too long and I may take the back one off but if you like long dangly earrings this would be perfect for you to add all of those layers and another charm little palm tree charm perfect with these summer colors and this one is on a hook and now we're gonna get to the pretty stuff so this pair of earrings was done with the um, glitter craft foam and it is really pretty I really like this and again all of these are fringed I really like the fringed look and this one here I'm going to show you let me try to pull it apart oh, there we go I didn't think it was going to come apart but that stud comes out and you can put a different one in there, change it up all the time, or you can use this one in other earrings and just interchangeable, make several pairs of earrings and then just use this stud in each of them. So, let me take a break here, my dog is barking. Sorry about that, UPS came and our dogs let us know when that happens. <laughs> so here is another pretty one that would be perfect for the holidays because I put a snowflake charm on it. And again, this is done with the glitter um, craft foam. And so I used gold and silver. And another one on a hook that I think is just really beautiful. So these are just a few ideas of what you could do with that die set. And like I mentioned um, in my intro, this would be so fun for a teenage girl's birthday party activity. I mean, they can just create whatever they want, especially using the fun foam, you know, they could just pick the colors they want, they can pick the dyes that they want. I think it would be an absolute blast. But I don't have a teenage daughter. And um, you know, other than that, it'd just be a fun way to make gifts for people or just earrings for yourself. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. So for this pair of earrings, I'm going to be using these three dies from the set. And I'm going to be using this craft foam, including the glitter craft foam. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to cut these out. 
So I'm just going to take my craft foam and I'm going to be using my cuddle bug. I'm just going to set it on there, making sure I have enough room for the second one since this will be just one earring. And I am just going to run it through my cuddle bug. And there we go. It was that easy. And all of the little tassels are together, but you just go through and separate them like that. And now you have the loose tassels. Okay, and I am going to repeat that again with that piece so that I have one for each earring. And then I'm going to do the other colors. And honestly, you don't need to see me run everything through because it is the same thing. We're just die cutting all of the earring pieces. There's a little hole already there. I just need to pop out the center. There you go, right there for the earring. And I'm going to be doing the same thing with the green here and with the green glitter and then I'll be right back and we'll put it together. Okay, as you saw, those dies cut this foam like a dream. And again, I'll show you that they come out like this and you just go through and separate each one of them to create the fringe. And that's how easy that is. And now I am ready to put these together. So I've got some jump rings and I have two for each earring and the earring hook and I've got a little pair of pliers here so let's get started I'm just going to layer these like so matching up all of the holes I am going to use my pliers to open the jump ring just like that and I'm going to stick it through. Now you may have to do them individually. Sometimes I can do it all at one time and sometimes individually. But I've got that on there. We're going to close that jump ring back up like so. Okay. And then I'm going to open another jump ring. And this is so fun. Always finding the end that opens. There it is. Okay, so I've got that open, and I'm going to put it right through that jump ring so that it hangs like that. And, ah! Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Get everything lined back up again. There we go. Back over the front. There we go. Okay. And... Let me make sure that that is closed really good. Yep, okay. Oh, making jewelry is so much fun, especially when you're trying to do it on camera and you're dropping everything. So just stick that right through there and make sure that we get this one closed up good. There we go, you wanna make sure that the ends meet. And ah, I am dropping everything today. Okay, there we go. That's how easy it is to make an earring. And you know, you could put a, a rhinestone or something there. You can hang charms from this. But I just wanted to show you how simple it was not adding all of those extras. And think of all of the color options that you have. Oh my gosh, so many color options. And of course, all of the colors that come with um, the glitter craft foam. So many possibilities with this. You can layer the plain with the glitter. You can do it all plain or all glitter. It is just so much fun and so easy to do. So now I'm gonna show you the other die set that I have and I'm going to show you some other techniques to use. Okay, these earrings I made with that second earring die set that I just showed you. And this pair right here was made with faux leather 
and the faux leather I used was just some scraps that I had laying around and don't forget that Coca Rosa has a wide selection of faux leather and so many beautiful colors and textures and designs and I'll have a link below to those in my description box but I just wanted you to see that it can be done with faux leather and I just used jump rings to hook these two pieces together so it kind of wiggles and is dangly and really nice I kinda of like how that turned out and I did that with this piece and that piece right there now for this I use that same piece and then this die to make these earrings and again they're the two pieces hooked together with little jump rings and then down here on the bottom I put another jump ring with a bead and up here at the top what you see right here that piece is what was cut out of the center of here Now. I'm going to hold this up close and hopefully you can see the beautiful glossiness. So I cut this out of the glitter craft foam, but then before I put all this together, I went over it and coated it with, let me pull this over here, liquid glass from close to my heart. And this is like glossy accents or anything else like that, but I really prefer this liquid glass. And I'll have a link below to that in the description box. But it just gives it this beautiful dimensional gloss, and I just love it. And this piece up here at the top, again, this time I put a different backing on this to make it easier to come off because those little, those little rubber or silicone ones are sometimes very hard, as you saw earlier. So I'll just pull that piece off and this one was put on a post to create a stud so this can be wore as an earring all by itself or it could be used with this earring. Isn't that awesome? I really like it. Actually so far this may be about my favorite one that I've made and I am looking forward to making so many more and you know as you saw in that set there are so many other options here. Not all of these are fringed. Um, the other set, I believe they're all fringed. And I don't know why I got so many with fringe on them. I guess because I like it. But there are so many options. And um, the other kit I showed you had so many more than this. And they have other ones with different shapes and things. They're not all fringe, trust me. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to be getting some more just so I can have a bigger variety. But I just wanted you to see the awesome things that you can make with these die sets using faux leathers or the glitter, um, the glitter craft foam or regular craft foam and some liquid glass. You know, you could add beads or charms or whatever you want and it's just so quick and easy and fun and inexpensive. I just want to take a minute to thank you all for stopping by and let you know that your support means the world to me. And if you like the idea of making some fun earrings for yourself or for gifts or for a party activity, I'm going to have a link below in the description box to Coca Rose's earring section so you can see everything they have. And I'm also going to have a discount code to save you a little money if you decide to shop there. And don't forget to check out your local Dollar Tree for some of that craft foam. And also a special thank you to my friend Cindy who was kind enough to send me a variety of charms and other jewelry findings. I appreciate that so much. Happy crafting everyone. Bye bye. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider that too. And if you do, be sure to click the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways. And I hope you stop by Crafters Castle on Facebook and also Crafters Castle Challenge Blog to enter your creations.